Welcome, one and all. Thank you. Thank you, Maestro. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is an historic day, and I think we'll all remember where we were. I was on TV, and you were watching it. <laughs> so let's get right to tonight's Don and the Giant Impeach. There was no crime whatsoever, not even a little tiny crime. This morning, uh, Nancy Pelosi and the chairs of six House committees gathered in the House press room, and the House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler got the honor of dropping the I-bomb. Today, in service to our duty to the Constitution and to our country, the House Committee on the Judiciary is introducing two articles of impeachment charging the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, with committing high crimes and misdemeanors. Yes. For only the fourth time in American history, articles of impeachment were drafted against a sitting president. It's something that no one could have predicted. <laughs> Until Trump was elected. <laughs> The Democrats presented two articles of impeachment, and Nadler laid out numero uno. The first article is for abuse of power. It is an impeachable offense for the president to exercise the powers of his public office to obtain an improper personal benefit. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Was that an article of impeachment? I'm sorry, I never read the articles, though. <laughs> I do enjoy the impeachment centerfold, though. Uh, oh, I gotta say, misdemeanor's got a pair of high crimes there. No. The... The joke is in no way related to the clip. Not in any way. The second article of impeachment is for obstruction of Congress because Trump wouldn't let any of his aides testify in the impeachment inquiry. A lot of critics have said the Democrats should wait until the courts force these aides to testify, but chairman of the Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff, weren't buying it. The argument, why don't you just wait, amounts to this. Why don't you just let him cheat in one more election? Why not let him cheat just one more time? Fun fact, why not let him cheat just one more time was what Trump had inscribed on Melania's wedding gift. <laughs> Schiff, also, it's true. It's a true story, John. That is a true story. You can take that to the bank. Schiff also said that House Democrats have a very good case. The evidence of the president's misconduct is overwhelming and uncontested. And how could it not be when the president's own words on July 25th, I would like you to do us a favor, though, lay so bare his intentions? Yes, this case is so simple, so bald faced. We at The Late Show came up with this handy jingle. You know it, you love it. Sing it with me, maestro. There's just one thing that you need to know. Trump said, do us a favor, go. Sing it this Christmas around the fire. <laughs> now, impeaching. Interesting. Very interesting. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Impeaching a president is one of the most important and solemn events a member of the House can participate in. So naturally, chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Elliot Engel, ambled in a third of the way through the press conference. Trump tweeted his defense this morning to impeach a president who has proven through results, including producing perhaps the strongest economy in our country's history, to have one of the most successful presidencies ever, and most importantly, who has done nothing wrong, is sheer political madness. You can't impeach me. The economy is so good. Plus, I don't always do criminal things. Sometimes, I just do fun, silly goof-ups like Kofefe and Hamburger. <laughs> You'll miss those. You'll miss those. Who knows? Who knows? Think twice. Yeah. 
Don't ask, who knows, maybe tomorrow I'll call worms baby snakes. <laughs> From here, the House Judiciary Committee will vote on the articles of impeachment on Thursday. On Thursday, that very night, Thursday night, my guest will be Congressman Adam Schiff. That's right. That's right. Mark one's calendar, Mark my calendar, friends. That's it. how it works. That's how five. America works. When people make American history, they come on the late show to promote it. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, he will bring a clip of the impeachment. <laughs> now, to prove just how weird Washington is these days, on the very same day, that they drafted the Articles of Impeachment. House Democrats and the White House made a deal on the USMCA trade agreement. I'm happy to know our government still works, but it's kind of emotionally confusing. It's like your parents telling you they're getting a divorce while you're on Space Mountain. <laughs> Was this my fault? Whee! Where will I go for Christmas? Yay! 